Now back up. In row upon row of tents and beyond, 400,000 refugees are ready. The engines tested, they're ready to load up the little they have and reclaim their homeland. There were smiles today now that NATO is in Kosovo, but fear as well, because the Russians are there too. The Russians are just like Milosevic, he says. We've never liked them. We're nervous now because we're not safe to go back to our homes with Russians there. But another force came today to make them safe, the German army. 1,500 men and all the hardware of war, the advance guard, for thousands more. This German army will occupy southern Kosovo, as a very different German army did half a century ago. This time, though, they will be welcomed by the local people into an area which has seen some of the bitterest fighting of this war. And these refugees, above all, will be glad to leave the camps. Last night, they escaped death by a fraction. This British Hercules transport plane crashed just a few hundred yards from their camp, exploding after a failed takeoff. No one in the camps or on the plane was killed. The explosion sent this refugee into labor. This morning, her baby was born. It's now called freedom. Victory is what they're now proclaiming as they gear up to follow NATO home. Bill Neely, ITN, on the Kosovo-Albanian border. And if you've just joined us, this is a specially extended news program. Other ITV programs continue at five past nine. But first, a look at the day's other news. A Russian fighter jet has crashed in spectacular fashion at the Paris Air Show. The Sukhoi 30 was undertaking a complex maneuver when it clipped the ground, went out of control, and eventually forced the pilots to eject. Pilots emerge from the drama unhurt. Tennis and rain has interrupted Tim Henman's semi-final match in the Stella Artois tournament at Queen's. It's due to resume tomorrow. Henman took the first set from Sargis Sagassian and was ahead in the second when the rain came. The winner meets Peace Sampras in the final. Here's Peter Stalker. Remember the name. Leighton Hewitt is an 18-year-old Australian who won his first world-class tournament when he was just 16. Today at Queen's Club, he proved why many people are tipping him as a future Wimbledon winner. He took the first set against the favourite for this year's Wimbledon. In the second, Pete Sampras was still being stretched all the way before he eventually rediscovered his more powerful weapons. The rain delayed things for two hours. After that, a damp court was a danger to both players. The deciding tie-break could have gone either way. Hewitt to break up at one point before Sampras fought back to win the match. And reflect on how, like last year, Tim Henman might once again threaten his near monopoly of Wimbledon. You know, last year's match was a tough, tough four setter. I mean, he was on the top of his game, and I had to work, work very hard to win that match. But he's, he's made huge gains, you know, since then. When the rain stopped Henman's match this evening, he was well on his way to beating the Armenian Sargsian to confirm his showdown with Sampras tomorrow. Peter Staunton, ITN Sport. In cricket, New Zealand beat India by five wickets in the World Cup Super Sixes at Trent Bridge. With batting like this from Ajay Jadeja, India was steered to 251 for six after their 50 overs. Zealand made 253 for five with an over to spare and now look set to go through to the semi-finals. And there's been a dramatic crash in the Le Mans 24-hour race. The Briton Peter Dumbrecht was driving his Mercedes team car when it somersaulted off the track at high speed. He's not thought to be seriously injured. Tonight's winning national lottery numbers have been drawn. They are 3, 18, 21, 23, 36 and 49. The bonus number is 47. Rollover jackpot is estimated at £12,300,000. The headlines again. The news tonight is dominated by that extraordinary sweep of NATO forces into Kosovo. It's the biggest military operation since the Second World War, and it was led by British forces. The Gurkhas were first to enter Kosovo in helicopters. British troops were welcomed by Kosovo Albanians as liberating heroes today. 
tanks and armored car, uh, cars poured over the border, also heading for the Kosovan capital, Pristina. But overnight, Russian troops reached Pristina ahead of NATO. Moscow admitted later it was a mistake in going in first. And tonight, NATO's commander in Kosovo, General Mike Jackson, finally arrived in a rain-soaked Pristina. He said the aim now was to provide a secure environment for all the people of Kosovo. And we'll have all the major developments from Kosovo on bulletins throughout the night here on ITN and throughout the day tomorrow. But now, from all of us here, good night. Southeast, as you can see, some of the best weather this week, I fancy, but at the moment that's where the worst of the weather is. Some really heavy showers are rumbling on into the night. Elsewhere, becoming mostly dry, the touch misty, and quite a cool one on the cars. Temperatures down to seven or eight, eight is 46. Now, before morning, cloud thickening across Northern Ireland, and by breakfast time, I think it might be raining here and western parts of Scotland too. Elsewhere, a dry start, just one or two showers perhaps still lingering in the extreme southeast. But here, I think a fine afternoon to come, the sunshine hanging on. Elsewhere, Tending to cloud over, rain spreading across Scotland and heavy bursts in the far north, fairly light and patchy further south and west. Only very misty though around exposed coasts and hills. But pollen levels, because of that sunshine, are going to be quite high, especially in the south. Under the cloud and rain further north remaining quite low. Temperature wise though, well, warmer than today in the south, certainly 19 or 20. 20 in the sunshine is 68 Fahrenheit. Further north and west with the cloud and the breeze, not just as warm, but still 16 or 17. A little bit warmer than today. That's it for me. I'll leave you with tomorrow's weather summary. Power Gen. Power.